Hey kids, it's Matt from Social Scope Podcast. We're here in Hyde Park, Perth, WA, on a stinking hot 40 degree day. But I tell you what, I'm feeling breezy because it's the afternoon and the sea breeze is coming in. Speaking of sea breezes, life comes around <laughs> like a windy tunnel. Suddenly you get to 30 years old. Recently I turned 30 and it has been scary, but it's also kind of forced me to do a little bit of reflection what my life was like 25 years ago and where I wanted to go in five years time. And I think that's a really good chunk of your life that you should be referencing and really taking stock of what you've done and where you're going. Think about some of the ambitions that you had five years ago compared to where you are now. Do you feel a bit inadequate or bitter about how it turned out? We shouldn't because everything's a life lesson at the end of the day. However, I really want you to think about what is my life going to be like at the next five years and what are the things that I can start doing right now that will make that next five years version of me the best that it can be. The Christmases, the family events, the holidays, they just roll around year after year and become a bit of a blur. So you really need to make sure, are you slowing down and focusing on your life day to day and focusing on the things that will give you the best memories at the end of your life because that's all you're going to have at the end of your life. So doing things like procrastinating, playing games, watching movies, while there is a time for that, you want to focus on producing more than you actually consume because there's things that you produce, like creative stuff, having a good skill or a hobby, you know, accomplishing a goal. Those are the things that you're going to look back on when you're an old man or woman and be like, damn, that shit was good. When I was a little boy, I remember putting my foot in here and I fucking fell in all the way. And my mom was so shocked. She was like, Matt, what have you done? Everyone thought I was drowning, but I was like, is it solid? No, nah, it was not solid. Of course, you can't make every single moment of your life a special moment. It doesn't work like that. You need dull moments in your life for special moments to exist. So don't be afraid of having a dull life. You know, we all do. We all have to go to the gym. We all have to cook food and clean the house. It's just a natural part of it. But those moments when you go out, meet someone special, have an amazing night or an amazing holiday or just a really excellent day with your family, you know, those are the special moments you should be looking out for. Probably the best advice that I can give you, don't be afraid of failure. Be afraid of inaction because failing is not wrong. Failing is good, but inaction is wrong. So ask yourself, am I just worried or am I not taking action? If I'm not taking action, what do you do? Take action, kids. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. As always, you can catch us on socialscopepodcast.blog. Find us on Instagram, ask us some questions, and we'll get back to you. I got a boogie. <laughs> you ever seen people that pick their nose and eat it? Yeah. It's, a, it's a delicacy in some places. I was never that kid. No, I was. Really? Yeah, it was all about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to my partner and apparently that's the deal breaker. If I one day picked my nose and ate my own boogers. <laughs> and I was like, what if I pick your nose and eat your boogers? Would you accept that? She's like, Sorry. fuck no. <laughs>